Hello, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. Continuing in our cPanel series, I'm going to show you how to set up a new php.ini file and also how to edit that file. In order to set up your php.ini file, you'll just go ahead and log into your cPanel. Go to the file manager first to make sure you don't already have a php.ini file. It'll be in your public underscore HTML folder. And you see here I do not have a php.ini file. So now you can close the file manager. Back in your cPanel homepage, scroll down to the software section. You'll now see the PHP configuration option. We sometimes call this the PHP switcher. It does not come standard with a VPS or dedicated hosting account, but if you would like one installed, just contact support or submit a ticket requesting the PHP switcher. You'll see the current version of PHP that I'm using is 5.3. If I switch the version or just click update on my current version, it will generate a new php.ini file in my public underscore HTML folder. So I'll just click update. And then you can go back and go to your cPanel homepage. Click on the file manager again. Go to public underscore HTML. And you'll see I have a new php.ini file. I'm going to go ahead and edit the file just to demonstrate how you can make changes to it. With the file selected, you can go up to the header portion here and click code editor. Uh, just as an example, I'm going to increase the memory limit, which is a common change that is made in the php.ini file. The memory limit is set at 512 right now. I'll just change it to 1000. And at the top right here, I'm going to click Save Changes. and then close the editor. And that's how you edit the php.ini file. And while you're still logged into cPanel in the file manager here, you can also make this php.ini file recursive to affect any subdirectories beneath it. You will need an htaccess file to do this. You can create a new one or edit one you already have. I already have one here, so I'm going to go back into the code editor. And this is the line here, which will make the PHP INI file recursive. So what I'm going to do is just uncomment that line. You'll see it has listed here a path to the php.ini file. And at the top right, click Save Changes again. And you may close this file. Now that you have made the php.ini file recursive, any settings you change in there will carry over into all the files and folders beneath it. If you enjoyed this video, you may like and subscribe below. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? 
There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.